Let's go back to Theodore for a moment. WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones shows you damage there, including more shots of that trampoline stuck in power lines that Ed was talking about. Yeah, Theodore is seeing significant impacts from the severe weather here in South Mobile County. I'm going to take a step out the way that you guys can see what's going on here. Crews are here on scene at Marshmallow Drive trying to repair, as you can see right there, a blown over power line and with its wires attached to the, a garbage truck over there. And the cause of all of this further back, there is a tree that's knocked down and that caused the power line over here to tumble over. Now I'm going to show you guys what that tree looks like in just a second. But as you can see here on scene, there are crews making sure that everyone's OK, trying to repair the power lines, making sure that no one else is hurt. Fortunately, the person on scene told me that there was nobody inside the garbage truck. Now, here's some video of what it looked like earlier today. Today, this is what this was the scene of March Metal Drive. You can see there is a power line over and, and in surrounding areas in this neighborhood. There is some flooding, lots of flooding, lots of puddles here, and a lot of neighbors were confused, trying to make sure that no one was hurt, trying to see if anyone can get in or out. Now, crews on scene did advise them by uh, the St. Elmo's Volunteer Fire Department, did advise people in this neighborhood that they cannot get in or out while this power line is down. Now, a couple feet over, about two or three minutes away, this was the scene of a neighborhood on Haley's Way in Theodore. You can see there was a trampoline caught in the power lines, and so volunteer firefighters with the St. Elmo's Volunteer Fire Department are making sure in the same way that they're doing this neighborhood over in that neighborhood, no one can get in or out until that trampoline is removed. Now, fortunately, no one in either incident was hurt. And as we learn more about how this weather is going to impact our communities here on the Gulf Coast, we'll keep you updated here on our website and on our newscast. Reporting in Theodore, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5.